And now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. We got our first flakes yesterday. This is a picture from Buffalo, Missouri. Ginger Norton sent in a picture of some snow on her windshield out there. We also had flakes falling pretty heavy in Osage Beach. Richie, uh, Ricky Smith sent in this picture. And then it looks like we've got a white blanket down in Warrensburg, Missouri. Uh, lots of snow sticking to that grassy surface. This morning, we're not dealing with any more of that snow. We've got mostly cloudy skies, maybe a little bit of a drizzle, but temperatures are above freezing. So that's the good news is we're not looking at slick roads, uh, maybe some flurries, maybe some little drizzles out there this morning, uh, but for the most part, we're done with that snow here for this morning. That low is off to the east. Now, it is going to drag in a cold front behind it. We could have a couple of flurries this afternoon, but we're not looking at any snow accumulation from that. The next big story is going to be the cold. This Canadian high pressure up in the Dakotas, you could see these temperatures in the single digits and teens around it, right? We are going to have this high pressure nose dive into the Ozarks by tonight and that will clear out our skies, calm down our winds and give us the perfect recipe for very cold temperatures and record temperatures as we head into Saturday morning. Uh, we've got freeze warnings in effect for the entire state of Arkansas, most of uh, Oklahoma and the entire state of Tennessee. These are the areas that have not hit freezing yet. This freeze warning does include part, most of the Ozarks. Again, this is where we have not hit freezing yet. It will still be cold here. You guys have just hit that freezing mark already. So freeze warnings in effect tonight through noon tomorrow as temperatures nosedive into the teens and 20s. What that freeze warning means is that you want to protect uh, people, bundle up, remember, take out the gloves and the scarves. Uh, pets need warm shelters. The plants will die tonight, and those pipes need to be protected as well. By Saturday morning, we could have wind chills in the single digits. So here's that hour by hour future cast. You can see the cold front comes through late today. Well, a couple of flurries possible, but again, not looking at much accumulation. Mostly cloudy skies and temperatures stuck in the 30s. 37 degrees with a blustery north wind will feel much colder than that. We clear out the skies tonight and nose diving temperatures, teens and 20s, 15 tonight in Springfield. And then by tomorrow, we'll keep sunshine, but it's going to still be cold. Upper 30s and lower 40s across the Ozarks on Saturday. This is the wind chill forecast. You you can see today we'll keep a blustery north and west wind. That will keep wind chills in the 20s through this afternoon, so it's going to be pretty blustery. And then by tonight, winds will be calm, but because the air mass is going to be so cold, we could have a couple of wind chills in the single digits by tomorrow morning. And then we're not done. That's only the first wave of cold. That exits very briefly, and another wave of cold comes in by early next week, where we'll have another round of teens and 20s. Here's that for us in freeze forecast. Again, a hard freeze tonight. Night. Things will rebound a little bit Sunday and Monday mornings, but then another round of teens and 20s by Tuesday and Wednesday as we bring in that second round of cold. 37 degrees today, breezy, it will feel like the 20s. A couple of flurries will be possible. North winds gust to 30 miles per hour. 15 overnight, clear, calm, and cold. It will feel frigid. 15 is my forecast, 17 is the record, so I do think that will break it much below the average of 39. Also, uh, Joplin, West Plains, and Harrison, those records are in jeopardy as well as we head towards tomorrow morning. 40 degrees, cold sunshine on Saturday. Mostly cloudy on Sunday and still chilly at 44. Rain and snow showers possible by Monday.